Okay. So uh, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the Fisher plugin manager and how to install it. So uh, this is gonna be a quick micro tutorial. Uh, right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, copy this right here. And you know what? I might as well put my little news banner up. You know? Why not? Right there. There you go. Fish shell Fisher install and best plugins for Fisher. Now I don't know if you consider them the best, but I consider them some of the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right here and uh, click right here. I'm gonna go ahead and shift paste uh, curl. Uh, I/O source Fisher install blah 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 blah. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna install Fisher, right? So after you install that, and it's been sourced. You'll be able to type the command Fisher, and it's gonna work. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down here, uh, or actually I'll show you this first. If I do Fisher list, here's my current plugins, right? So if you want to install, let's say NVM, which does um. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, node. Uh, it does like a node repository and does node functions and stuff inside Fish. You can do that. Fisher install NVM. That one's installed. Uh, then for here, uh, this tide right here. This is a asynchronous prompt. It's actually really fast. I believe it, it it processes like two prompts at once. It's like one on the left, one on the right, something like that. Not 100 percent sure, but I believe so. Anyway, we we'll install this one. This is one of the best uh, prompts too. Problem is when you get kind of tricky and uh, stuff with functions, it tends to mess up. So I tend to not use it. So let it go like that, and see it. It does like a whole ton of functions and other stuff. And that's one of the reasons I don't use it. Uh, but here, uh, right when you finish uh, doing the install for it, it's gonna go ahead and be like, "Hey, what do you want to install? Lean, classic, or rainbow?" So I'm gonna go ahead and do lean. Uh, and for here, I'm gonna go ahead and do. Uh, true color or 16 colors so I can go ahead and do one uh, if uh, right here where it says show current time I do 24 hour format or 12 hour format so uh, I'll do 24 hour uh, and I like one lines I don't like to be scattered and I like compact too and I like kind of many icons uh, override tide fish can pig fig I'm good yes now, when you look at our prompt, this is what you get. See how pretty it is? It's all nice and sexy and stuff like that. So, that's one of the plugins. This one's really good. Uh, you can look at its tabbing and stuff like this. The problem I tend to have with it is it tends to mess up a little bit on um, repositories, which is, um, see, like right there, it messes up on Git. So, you, you if you want to uh, get it working right, usually you have to disable the Git functions on it. That's if you're using a few other um, functions. Otherwise, it works fine by itself. I just notice whenever you install a few functions, it tends to crap out just like that. So, now I'm just going to go ahead and do a. Uh, I guess I'll keep it right there. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's say I want to go ahead and do. Oh. Um, Uh, Fisher update something Fisher and then uh, Fisher list Fisher remove uh, that will remove everything from Fisher. Uh, not sure what that is. Oh, uh, another one is uh, FZF the FZF. So FCF fish shell. Go over to here. This is a really, 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 really good. Uh, I don't know what you call it. It's a CLI search engine. You could say using uh, fuzzy and everyone knows fuzzy well I wouldn't say everyone but a lot of people do so if you want to go ahead and go here uh, and you want to go ahead and install this you'd scroll down and right here it's say Fisher install Patrick F1 FCF right so go over there shift install I mean shift you know insert and it's gonna go ahead and install that one another one you're gonna want to is really bad and oh if you install this one you're gonna want to make sure you have fish FCF FD and bat uh, usually FD and bat are the ones that are gonna be missing right there and that will prevent some of the functionality now uh, after you install that uh, there's some cool hotkeys I can show you I'll just show you this once so once is control R this lets you search your command history so if you had a useful command you type before you can go ahead and search this and this will show you your command history um, 
that's it. I'm not going to go too much in that plugin. I'll make another video on that later we can go into, but that's good for now. Um, if we go to, um, let's see, and then you can set the FCS preview directory. Um, let's go ahead and see here. Oh, uh, fish shell bass. Let's say we go here. And now let's say we go Fisher install EDC. Uh, Fisher install EDC base. And let's say uh, shift like this, Fisher install EDC base. Like that. Uh, now what is this? Bass, not base, bass, base, whatever you want to call it. So what this does is this helps out with uh oh bash rc aliases and stuff like that and some kind of some command substitutions if you do it right so uh one really good here is adding a function so you're saying function nvm and then it's going bash source blah 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 no use nvm and then it's calling the current user prompt right there if you ought to know the argv is uh the same thing as this like there it's the same thing as that so essentially the same thing uh, that's another like I'd consider mandatory plugin just for compatibility with certain bash scripts or if you're sourcing them I definitely would leave that one out so let's go ahead and install that one too uh, another one let's go ahead and see here uh, best Fisher and we can go type in best Fisher plugins right And if you go right here to the Fisher plugins, see where it says auto pair. If you go right here, you go here, uh, Fisher install auto pair dot fish, right? So you go right here, um, and you go right here. All right, so auto pair dot fish, and this will do auto pairing. Now, if you want to see what auto pairing is, don't ask me much because nah, I'm not 100% familiar with it. But auto complete matching pairs to the fe uh, fish command line. So let's say is a cursor echo, blah blah blah. So I kind of I kind of guess that makes sense. So you know why not? That would be a good plugin too. You know, uh, it's gonna help with the pipes and stuff and maybe the auto completion. Another great thing about the fish shell is that you can do the fish update completions and it'll go through your man pages and your documentation and automatically give you auto completes for it so you don't have to remember it because remembering stuff is kind of hard sometimes so um, let's go ahead go down here um, dark theme for fish and 307 apps uh, software plugins here fully customize your fish shell right uh, so if you look right here uh, there's ultimate blah 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 anyway so I think that's enough I, I showed you well let's see if we can find a few more oh let me type well uh, fish fisher top plugins for fish shell right So we have the Z plugin. Yeah, Pisces. Laughadelic. Your ID you've been handling your practice and now your shell can do the same. The Pisces plugin has automatic magic symbols for quotes match. Really? The heck is this? Let's look at this. I haven't seen this. Oh. So I guess this helps with the um Pisces only only insert at end of line so do that right there uh, then Fisher on my fish apt um, then if you go like this uh, anyway so, oh, uh, Z is pretty decent directory jumping, but I've had problems with it. Tide, that's the one I showed you. I've had problems with that too. Auto pairing, not so much. This one, this one. 
Oh, another one is, uh, let's see if we can do a Python and, uh, and, uh, well, yeah, that's it. Anyway, if you liked the video, you found it helpful, like and subscribe. Uh, maybe it helped you, maybe it didn't. Uh, anyway, that's just a general breakdown of how you install the Fisher plugin or the Fisher plugin manager for the fish shell and then how you do the fish shells. Oh, actually, one second. So if you go right here and you type in Fisher list, um, it's going to say auto pair, base, tide, NBM. And then uh, FCF, NVM, Tide, Base, and Auto Pair. So that's how you list the plugins. And then Fisher, Update is how you update them. Like that. Uh, and that's how you update them. So. Yeah, that's it. That's how you update. So that's how you update them. Uh, anyway, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Buy me a cup of coffee. Help me out. Um, let me know how you like the videos. If you've got any advice, think there's anything else I should talk about or do. If there's any tips and pointers you got, let me know. Anyway, out.